Thank you for watching. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to create a virtual environment in Python with VS Code and an Apple machine. So let's go ahead and let's create the directory where we want to store this project. So I'm going to open the Finder. Let's go to the Documents. And of course, you can uh, create this directory anywhere on your machine, but I just prefer my documents. So I'm going to create a new folder here. And for now, I'm just going to call this folder Selenium course, then just take this folder and drag it to VS Code like this. And VS Code will create a new project within this folder. And this is where you now can add all your documents. But before we do that, let's create our virtual environment. So I'm going to open a new terminal window, new terminal. And you see this terminal window is automatically opening in this specific folder, Selenium course. Now, because we are working on a Mac machine, we have to refer to Python 3. Then minus M, V, E, and V. And then we have to define the folder where we want to store this virtual environment. And I prefer to do this in dot V, E, and V, but you can also do this in any other folder. Then in order to create this virtual environment, press enter. And now you see here the directory dot V, E, and V, and this is where all the files of our virtual environment are stored. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna create a new file here. Let's call it main.py. Just make sure that you don't add it in the .vnv folder. Then just click here. Let's put something on the screen. Hello world. And let's run a script. I see here that um, we are working in the virtual environment. And this is where you can as well choose between the virtual environment and between the global environment. So this is a global Python version. This is the Python version in the virtual environment. But there is one thing that we still have to do. So I'm going to navigate back to the terminal. So I'm just going to click on this one. Let's go back to the terminal. Because the one thing that we still have to do is activate our virtual environment. And we can do that with source dot v -E and v slash bin slash activate. And that's how we activate our virtual environment. Now our environment has been fully activated and we can install all kinds of libraries in the virtual environment. And if you do that, make sure that you use pip3 instead of pip. And then for example, uh, I'm just gonna install Selenium and press enter. And it's very important that you activate your virtual environment. If you don't do this, uh, libraries that we install, for example, Selenium that we just installed, will still be installed on your global environment. So if you navigate to .vnv and then I open a uh, lib, and you will see that Selenium has been installed here in the virtual environment. And that's why it's so important to activate your virtual environment. Um, if you want to deactivate it, you can just type deactivate here and your environment will be deactivated. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.